Former evident footballer Lee Tai has been handed a life sentence after admitting to charges of bribery and match-fixing during his tenure as the manager of China's national football team from 2019 to 2021. According to reports from China, Li Tai confessed to both accepting and offering bribes as part of a crackdown on corruption in football by the Chinese public prosecutor. The bribery charges specifically pertain to Li's time as the China national team manager, where he allegedly paid £330,000 to secure his position. Furthermore, he acknowledged his involvement in a match-fixing scandal while overseeing Hubei China Fortune and Wuhan Zhao, using such unethical tactics to achieve promotions. In a statement expressing remorse, Li Tai admitted, I'm very sorry. I should have kept my head to the ground and followed the right path. There were certain things that at the time were common practices in football. He explained that the pursuit of success through improper means fueled impatience and a desire for quick results, leading him to influence referees, bribe opposing players and coaches, and engage in dealings between clubs. Li Ti's football career includes a stint at Everton from 2002 to 2006, where he initially made 33 appearances on loan before a permanent move in 2003 for a fee of £1.2 million. After briefly playing for Sheffield United, he returned to China, joining Chengdu Blades and later Liaoning Huwen before retiring in 2011. His managerial journey began four years later with Hubei China Fortune, where he achieved promotion in his sole season in charge. Subsequently, he spent three years managing Wuhan Zhao before taking on the role of China national team manager in 2019. His managerial record includes six wins, two draws, and five losses in 13 games in charge. Li Ti's legacy as one of China's greatest football talents has been overshadowed by these controversies, marking a stark contrast to his earlier reputation. His career suffered setbacks due to injuries, notably breaking his leg while on international duty for China in 2004. The abrupt end to his managerial role in December 2021 concludes a tumultuous chapter in his football journey. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification button to get all latest football news and trends.